so uh, in this module i'll talk about the client side web database programming if you uh, recall i showed you a diagram in the previous slide uh, what things are done at the client side and what things are done at the server side the objective is to bring the databases on the web right and what we need to do at the client side so we need to uh, develop uh, do some coding at the client side right and we need to use some external application also there but remember one thing that the client has to be thin it is advantageous to have a thin client so we cannot do a lot of programming work at the client end we can have interim solutions uh, but they are not good for a long term approach so let me go into more details so uh, what is used typically at the client end uh, or what is used the programming done at the client end which will facilitate which will help or which will all together bring a traditional client server a database application on the web remember try to understand what i'm saying that what i need to do at the client side to bring a traditional client server database application on the web that is an interim solution that is a quick and dirty way of bringing the database on the internet it has its issues also so i'll be discussing those issues and the performance for each of these programming techniques not the techniques but the the techniques and tools also which is uh, javascript which is a scripting language activex controls which is for the internet explorer plugins and external applications plugins are remember they are dynamically linked libraries dlls which you may have seen or heard so javascript javascript can be used and is used for creating and customization of the interfaces to an application in the context of the database uh, remember one thing that it is not a binary uh, or running something which in the binary mode it is interpreted at the client side of course if the client has allowed the javascript to run javascript can be used for mathematical calculations also for example if i enter my date of birth instead of going to the main server javascript can help calculate my age or if i would like to do a conversion into units or other things that can be done using javascript at the client end and of course javascript is also used for validation validation means that uh, if i enter an email address then the email address should have the necessary at sign and the other uh, domains also so this this is some of the applications of javascript the, the main advantage of javascript is that javascript need java plugins javascript cannot do something without java plugins and cgi common gateway interface protocol based upon which we have a cgi script written in c or c++ or java which will facilitate actions retrieval writing on the database okay without a three tier traditional web based database application environment so with javascript you need to have plugins performance that is the key thing sending the final action instead of going again and again to uh, retrieve something from the main server the web server the database server a collective request is sent which gives good performance but remember one thing since everything is dependent upon the client the state is stored at the client is maintained at the client therefore if the client exits the session is lost the state is lost so that is not a good approach it is an approach a quick approach but not a good approach activex what is activex it extends the capability of internet explorer and it adds functionality this functionality will help in accessing the data in the database okay using client end programming 
client end programming not the server end programming server end programming for doing all these things is the correct approach and there are more than 1000 controls maybe more uh, which adds functionality to IE Internet Explorer which includes the controls for database access also and it is very powerful because it also has most of the Windows functionality which means that using IE I can actually go with, with the plugins with, with the IE with ActiveX I can go to my hard disk access the files even save the files so all or most of the Windows functionality is there in ActiveX and with respect to the performance minimize the network traffic instead of sending everything to the web server or to the, or to the uh, database server it uh, sends it collects them collects and then sends that reduces the network traffic the control information is collected and sent reduces the network traffic as a consequence the performance goes up and offers a rich graphical user interface also okay and this will give good performance performance in the sense that I can work better not in the sense of CPU CPU performance with reference to network traffic I have already mentioned over here what are plugs in plugs in the DLLs dynamic link lab libraries they also add functionality ActiveX adds functionality JavaScript adds functionalities DLL adds functionality but there are certain issues with the plugins you need to install them at the client side and it's not possible to install these plugins in at all the clients if you do it is very expensive in terms of time and money it's not practical it's not feasible it can be done it's not practical and feasible so that is not a good solution using plugins at the client end programming for database access and is also platform dependent it means that the plugs in which I prepare for a certain platform they are not likely to work on another platform so I have to do that work again uh, Ole uh, ODVC open database connectivity and object linking and uh, embedding I'll be talking about in more details in the subsequent sections the point over here is that these plugs in are loaded on demand loaded on demand uh, they are there okay uh, a person has registered for those plugins and when the plugin is required then the plugin is loaded in the memory as a consequence they are not preloaded in in the traditional way because preloading will incur the cost of loading and occupying the memory also they are not preloaded loaded on demand and they are written in native code binary it means you will get good performance unlike JavaScript this will give good performance and finally I have these external applications they can be new clients they can be legacy clients these are interim solutions which are at my client end at my PC end which help in access this database help in accessing database okay these are on my PC these are the plugins but the thing is that they are hard to maintain I have to change it at all the client I have to reinstall it at all the clients this is not feasible like in the previous case but the benefit is that there is no repeated connection why because it is stateful traditional client server environment it is stateful but all of these uh, solutions JavaScript ActiveX plugin external applications they require a fat client it is advantages to have a thin client these are interim solutions quick and dirty approach to bring your database applications on the web in the next module I'll talk about uh, server and web server and programming thank you very much